Hi. In this module, I'll tell you about mobile applications for citizens with Copernicus data. Many of the product services and applications that are developed using Earth observation data are targeted mainly at governments and businesses. In the next few minutes, I'll show you that Copernicus can also be used in applications for citizens and how you can create your own mobile app with Copernicus data. These are some examples of mobile apps for citizens. One app uses air quality data from Copernicus, another one monitors floods. SnapPlanet developed a social media network with Copernicus data, and you can also monitor vegetation from your smartphone with another app. All of these apps have in common that Copernicus data are presented to you at the touch of a screen, without needing any knowledge on Earth observation. We'll look a bit more into WAVE, the city assistant. WAVE is an iOS app for Vienna, which gives you transport information and, with the use of Copernicus data, shows you if there are a lot of pollen in the air today, or where the water temperature is nice enough to go swimming, all within the same app. It was developed by SubZero, the company of an iOS developer with no background in Earth observation. He first created the app showing transportation in Vienna and then took it to the Copernicus Masters uh, competition, where he went on to win the ESA app challenge in 2015. This gave him access to a support package and the chance to develop his idea further in one of the ESA business incubators in Europe. So this example showed you, you don't need to know about Earth observation to use Copernicus in a mobile application. If you're interested in building your own app with Copernicus data, how would you go about that? I'll show you how to create a first uh, version of a web application to test your idea and take it to the next level. We'll work in open source GIS and with Esri tools and use the full free and open Copernicus data. You'll find the links to all the data and tools we'll use over here. First, we'll find the data sets that, that's interesting to us. Go, for example, to the Copernicus Marine Environment Monitoring Service website, or CMEMS in short, and browse through the catalog for an interesting data set. Here, we've chosen the Baltic Sea Physics Analysis and Forecast. Each data set on CMEMS is available as a web map service, or WMS. This means that the data are online, but you can display it in software on your computer. To do that, copy the link address. Go to QGIS, an open source GIS software, and click Add WMS Layer in the sidebar. Create a new connection, name it, and copy your WMS link address in here. Click OK and click Connect. Now you can see all the available datasets from the Baltic Sea Physics Analysis and Forecast. Choose, for example, sea ice area fraction and seawater salinity, and add them as a layer. We have to zoom out a bit to view the products, but this gives you a good idea of what you can expect in the display. For instance, there is no sea ice for the moment, so this dataset doesn't give us any information we can use for now. We can also add in other Copernicus data. On the Copernicus land monitoring portal, go to local datasets, click Urban Atlas, and open the street tree layer. This shows a number of trees on the street in some cities in Europe. It is also available as a web map service. Just right click on WMS to copy the link address and go back to QGIS to have a more in-depth look. Add the street tree layer as a WMS layer and make the layer more transparent in the properties of the layer so you can see the map behind it. Then you can zoom in to the city with the street tree layer. This way, you can see which areas have more trees and which have less trees, which could be interesting for real estate agents or people looking to buy a house to check how green a neighborhood is. Now that we've had a look at some data sets, we'll build a web app. Switch to ArcGIS Online. Add a layer from web, a WMS OGC web service in this case. Copy the URL like before and paste it in the dialog box. Click Get Layers and select the layers we were looking at earlier, or rather, deselect the others. It immediately shows up in your map view. 
toggle the layers to see how they display. From this map view, we can build a web application. Save the map and share it. Click Create a web app. Browse through the different options to find a template for a web app that you like. Uh, here, we want to provide local information for citizens. And so we'll choose the public information template. Check the information of the template and decide whether it fits your needs. And then cl click Create web app. The tags and summary appear filled out already when you have written them while saving the web map. Click Done, and the web app is created for you. Add the web map we made in the beginning, containing the information you want to display. And there it is, the preview of your web application. You can toggle the layers from the web map on and off, and you can co configure the application according to your needs. You could also do the same exercise, but create an Android or iOS app, all without needing to write one line of code. So if you have a good idea, know that there are tools and data out there that will let you create a simple first version, no prior knowledge needed. Thank you for watching and hope to see you get started on your idea.